Hi guys, Peter reminded me yesterday that we um, haven't been that good at sharing everything that we do or all the challenges that we face, which is pretty much one of the cornerstones of this project that we want to show you uh, the entire journey of what we're doing. So I thought today I wanted to do that. And to be honest, the last couple of weeks have been uh, quite frustrating because yeah, we haven't been moving um, that fast as we wanted to do and we've faced some challenges up until now that we are now looking into evaluating uh, in terms of our approach and you can see overall we have divided the project into three aspects the um, physical challenges the project challenges and the impact challenges in terms of the physical challenges which is going to be difficult but one of the things that are more easier to um, to approach since it's basically just me training more and I've been doing that and that has been going well I've been increasing the training across uh, all disciplines I've been doing the ice challenge to get more used to the cold water uh, and I had a successful successful ice swim in, in Iceland and now we booked the next trip to Svalbard in April where I'm gonna do the first quarter of an ice month so that's gonna be a next big milestone so that's but that's more easier to handle because you can sort of see the steps ahead and and you constantly have a feel of how you're improving then there are the project challenges we had a goal of reaching 20 percent funding end of february and now we can see that that's not going to happen we're only around 10 percent and uh, yeah we've just found out that it's it is that's a difficult task. First of all, because it's difficult to get through to the right people in, in the big organizations, the, the true decision makers. Second, it's that it's difficult to know exactly what their needs and what their desires are in terms of how our project could be relevant for um, partners. And obviously that's uh, since we haven't had that much progress since we Assigned with our first partner, Libertone. We are now having a workshop on Tuesday where we're gonna evaluate our approach. Obviously there are two ways of doing that. Either you push and reach out to a lot of um, companies that you see uh, where there is a relevant fit. Obviously we look very much at where there are synergies with, with companies. Or you, the opposite, the pull where you um, put your efforts elsewhere in creating content and and then for this for the partners the companies to reach out to you but obviously that is a more risk that's a riskier strategy maybe because obviously we need funding in order to make this happen but there are different approaches to that and there are also alternative um, funding opportunities so that's what we're going to look at. And then in terms of the last uh, impact challenges, we have just realized that growing on social media is a um, tough challenge as well. So we had a goal of increasing our following with with 37% a month, which is obviously ambitious, but that's also uh, how it should be. But that we just can see that we are not growing uh, that fast. And obviously then looking into why that is, whether we are should focus our efforts and how they should be focused across the show, across the different channels, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and and the reason, uh, obviously, how do we get how we get the message across and to more people, and whether people actually understand the message and the reason of why we are doing this in the first place when they um, get to know about the project. And we have a lot of content. Uh, we have already a lot of content in the pipeline. And a lot of creative content ideas, but we simply don't have the manpower right now to yeah, really push it out and, and doing it the pace that we would like to, basically. But we're working on that and um, yeah, how we can get more, more exciting stuff out. Yeah, so, so, and then yeah, uh, external factors. Um, I wanted to do a speedo swim from the upper house here in Copenhagen across the water, but we couldn't get permission to do that. And um, Jen is setting up the first Iceman Talks episode, but um, yeah, 
still still confident and we just need to yeah stay at the grind and then obviously focus our efforts and see okay what what can we do about these challenges but then on the positive side we have a cool guy joining uh, full on the 1st of March and we're really looking forward to getting him on board and uh, announcing that and then obviously my training has uh, improved but that's the that's the more go to uh, part and then or I think that although obviously we would like to grow our following we also really appreciate the support from you guys and how the en engagement has increased the support during the ice I swim challenge, uh, I jump challenge, and also now, and now also the interval Wednesday. Obviously, that's that's awesome. We really appreciate it. So it's just obviously, it is just to continue doing what we're doing, believing in yourself, and obviously, I think just in general, you need some patience and still just pushing on, and then look for alternative ways. Constantly evaluating your approach, the priorities, because obviously, it's possible. All of this. It's just a matter of persistence, dedication, and uh, self-belief. And then also recognize the positives and that we are constantly moving forward. Perhaps sometimes in what we feel is a slower pace, but still moving forward. So yeah, that was some thoughts and uh, status of where we are now. And looking forward to share more of these with you going forward. And if you have any questions or anything, or feel like you can help with anything, feel free to reach out to us. Apart from that, have a great Sunday night. Cheers. Mm -hmm.